Hello, this is Todd Giffen, owner of Obama'sWeapon.com. Hey, so here's my, my latest research. I, I've, I'm a researcher, and everyone's been talking about how there's, not everybody, but some people are like, how could the NSA or the government tap into your mind remotely? Well, let me tell you about a couple of systems. Everyone is dumb in the public realm. They don't know anything about the history of the US military or the government or the NSA or the MK CIA, nobody, even the FBI. If you go back to um, the 50s, I mean, this is the time when a, a lot of research was getting done and, and things like radar, sound wave, and electromagnetic imaging. Radar is, in fact, electromagnetic imaging. It lets them see the reflections of energy and objects. They can image things. Radar is very powerful. It could be used to detect something, or it could be used to see something. Image it physically. It's just like, you know. So... They've had transmitters in space for a long time too. Uh, radio, RF transmitters. They've had. They've had the ability to use microwave imaging to scan Earth's surface. They've had maps, detailed maps, since the 70s of Earth's surface. So, and these systems use microwave transmitters in space. So they've been putting these damn things up in space for a long time. So. Sometime in like the 70s or the 80s, a program called Echelon, Echelon was put into orbit by the NSA. This was to spy on Soviets. Uh, this system primarily was to detect electromagnetic uh, energy, radio waves, and other signals. Now, here's, uh, if you go and get on Wikipedia, you'll find something about that. Wikipedia, massive antenna rays, uh, satellites, and other systems were put out there to spy on the Soviets so that we knew everything going on inside their territory. That was the purpose. Now, this system, there's something about radio waves you need to realize. It's just like light energy. It's reflections. It, it illuminates an area and lets you see it from afar. It doesn't matter what part of the spectrum it is. So... There's so many things that they could do with this energy. There is, uh, this is energy produced locally and broadcasted from us at them. Radar works more than one way. So, if there's something at the source producing a signal, we can see everything around that area. We can, um, you can see, and this is everything in the homes, the electrical wiring, uh, the c computers, the TVs, everything producing energy. And that is, anything that uses electricity is actually producing electromagnetic fields. So, and that includes humans. And that's something that's rarely talked about. And so, there is a system out there called Tempest. NSA Tempest. That's the one I want you to pay attention to. Now, back in 1985, there was a researcher. And there's something called Freaking. I don't have the full term. You have to get on Wikipedia. Look up Tempest codename. Codename Tempest is a system the military has. It's classified. And NSA. NSA and military run the same pretty much. This is actually, it might be NSA's system. Signals Intelligence uses this. That's the Pacifics. So this system can uh, read the electromagnetic energy of any device. It doesn't matter what it is. Anybody. Any person. And that, that's something that's never talked about. You, I've never heard anyone say a human could be targeted with it. But it's true because the electricity in our brains is the same as in our computer or in our anything else, any device. So here's what this system Tempest is designed to do. Tempest, in, in the freaking, freaking with the pH, they can read the signals of any, like, cable cable without having a connection to the cable. For example, your keyboard or DVI signal from a monitor or TV or internet backbone like copper signal, uh, 
they can read the energy from it from afar. So the researcher who did not work for the government in 1985 for dollars built a system that could actually pick up a computer signal remotely and it was a monitor signal. So from several meters away he was able to see what was on your screen with his screen. Full clarity. And keyboards can be monitored so they could see what you type every keystroke. Um, if you're the dashboard in your car, they can see the electrical signals in the dashboard of your car and put together a picture of that. Um, and so this system, also DVI signals, DVI signals, that's the digital interface used for um, LCDs. They can, that's many, many wires inside a big thick cable and they can p fully pick up the digital signal. And because they can read the full signal, that's telling me DVI is digital, right? It's either they got the signal or they don't. And if they got the full signal, then that's how they get the picture. So that means that they're, they've got a very high resolution system that can read signals from very small signals from very small wires from miles away. So that's telling me they have a system that can also read the neurons in a human body or an animal or anything. So that means this is like the most advanced version of EEG ever out there, several mile range. That means that they, with a little bit of computer software, they can decode the signal just like any other signal. And they've got what we, what they, they're, they're suddenly running a simulation in their computer that's tracking everything. It's interpreting everything inside a person's mind and body, their memories, their subconscious thoughts, their conscious thoughts, their motor control signals, heart commands, movements, uh, sensations, pain, tickling, whatever. And, and suddenly they've got access to everything inside of your mind because they're able to see every signal. They're able to see every neuron, just like every little wire in a cable. That's Tempest. That's what Tempest can do. That is signals intelligence at the NSA. They've got, now, Ec Echelon, that program was expanded after the Soviets, maybe before the so Soviets, you know, collapsed. They expanded this program. They're spying on everyone in, uh, in Europe, in America. Their system is monitoring signals all over the world. They've got satellites in place, space capability. NSA res whistleblower Russell Tice, he mentioned that. Um... He said that I had space capability that we were going after people with. Journalists, judges, lawyers, activists. The NSA under Bush's order. I mean, these guys, they're all together. They're, you know, it's they're all working together to keep this a big fucking secret. And the FBI's got access to this. Everyone. Now, the, this was... If you read up on the Bush warrantless spy programs from 2001 to 2009 or 7, that was when they were tapping everything warrantlessly. No judge, no nothing. And they were spying on us. And they were monitoring not just metadata, but content. Also, Echelon has internet backbones. Like, they've got, uh, they've got literal rooms installed at ISPs monitoring everything. They're able to get a direct feed, like a line split, duplicating every bit of data that's sent over the internet. And they're able to log and tap into that. The telephone companies are also participating. They're giving access to every phone call to the NSA. And there's satellites that can remotely tap into all this. They can monitor the electrical signals of a cable remotely. They don't need the ISP or the telephone company's permission. They're, they're monitoring the wireless signals too, your cell phones. Your cell phones, your Wi-Fi, your fucking everything, everything, Bluetooth, it's all remotely tapped. And they could do this from anywhere, miles away, ground-based sensors, a mobile station in a, in a police car, or a satellite. Big array of uh, sensors. Now, I'm going to tell you that this does just... It does not end. Now, there's there's some patents. 
a patent for um, remote neural monitoring. It's actually a very complex patent. I posted that on my website. The original version, there's a company that owns all sorts of patents for aviation and space technology, including satellites. And they own this patent for synthetic telepathy. Now, they tried to obfuscate in their patent that it was going to require local sensors to be placed on the scalp. But it's a very open-ended patent. If you read it, I, I noticed that it does say on the individual. It later says it doesn't have to be on the individual. In fact, EEG doesn't have to be on the individual. The original patent for EEG, uh, it's from a remote location that the signals can be read. The one from the 70s. And so, this patent, let me tell you what the patent actually describes and says is patented. It's a use of brainwave activity for communication and a use of radio signals to remotely stimulate the brain or nervous system. The patent makes says that a remote command could be sent to a person to make them not feel depression or not feel a certain way. Um, basically, the construct of the patent is actually they're giving you basic ideas that they can control your nerve impulses remotely through satellites or other technology. And this could be done with microwaves or broadcasted electromagnetic energy. Um, the next thing uh, is the patent. Well, the patent's pretty complex, okay? So, any, if you read the patent, it actually says that any type of brain computer scanning device could be used, not just EEG. So that would mean Tempest could do it. And that means that this patent actually covers all sorts of implementations, regardless of the type of sensor or how it's implemented. So, it's like they, they might have not even wanted you to know it could be used like this. That's why they put in this, this stupid example of putting a sensor on your head and transmitting it via satellite somewhere else to be analyzed. You don't got to put sensor on your head. You can have the remote sensor anywhere. So um, this is signals. This is part of signals intelligence and this patent. I wonder how much money they're making off the, you know, the government. They must have a relationship with the government to develop and patent something like this. So um, it's actually a pretty good patent. It describes how thoughts can be extracted though. Even even with the sensor on their head, it starts with the small... They wanted to cover everything with the patent, and that included sensors up close or remote location sensors, so that's why they, they, they worded it like that. Now, um, now, I don't got anything else to say. I'm going to talk to you later. So, Tempest is a system that's able to tap into remote signals, whatever it is, monitors, humans. Anything you need to realize that humans are no different than electronics because electromagnetic energy is what makes us similar. The electricity in our brains is the same as in computers. So, in electronic devices, it's all the same. This system, everyone's hiding the fact that it could target humans, but it can and it is being used on them. And that is NSA remote neural monitoring and electronic brain link. Read my website, OregonStateHospital.net forward slash D forward slash uh, all lowercase Russell Tice dash uh, NSA RMM EBL dot HTML. Or just go to the homepage and click that link at the in the top left corner. Um, this technology is in use. The police have it everywhere. It's old, old school. The patent is from the 90s. And I mean, Back in the 90s, there was a big information war. There, Every country was afraid of this. They were like, oh, if we have technology that can read the mind, then we could steal people's thoughts. And whoever has all this technology and power and knowledge and is able to harvest this is the one that's got the most power. Some governments wanted to ban, some did ban it. Russia banned it in 2001. The United States was going to enter a treaty with the world with the Space Preservation Act to ban their, their use of it. And it never came to pass. Uh, Congressman Dennis Kucinich's bill, it failed. It was going to ban it from these these remote weapons and particle beams and psychotronic weapons and information weapons. That's the ability to read and read thoughts. Um, they were going to ban it 
and it didn't bend. So, and now it's in use everywhere. America didn't want to ban it. The intelligence community didn't want to ban it. That's why it never got banned. And I think every congressman knows about it. And they use it because the police use it. And the CIA uses it. The FBI has got it. I think they've got remote terminals everywhere. They could fit in a car. They could call up. You know, they're, they're abusing me at my house. And I think it's all done with... They've got it somewhere in the vicinity of my house. Within several mile range. And they, they've tracked me. I've seen the cars following me on the streets and on the freeway to the coast everywhere I go and if it is in satellite form it does work from satellites too it doesn't matter and I think the satellites are really useful for um they're they got higher latency but you know they can tap in I bet they're monitoring Iran I bet they're monitoring every country with this and they got the thoughts of the top politicians in every country they know where Julian Assange is right now what he's thinking and doing they know where Snowden's at they got it they know everything and they're just, you know, this is the most important part of their system and that's why they do everything to keep a secret. And they have doctors working for them, psychiatrists who will lie to make sure that no one ever figures out that this is not mental illness. When they target a person or use it on a person, they've got relationship with hospitals and other people all over. And uh, I think uh, the police, have a lot of help in keeping this this system secret and uh, police have access to it so Springfield Police the Lane County Sheriff's State Police in Oregon FBI Agent Roberts FBI Portland Salem Eugene nationally I don't know everybody everyone's got access to it there's no reason to believe that they don't and you need to realize that they're they're actually okay to lie uh, if you go take a look at uh, the president can force them to lie. You need to realize that there's a law. You should go check out the Wikipedia article, NSA Mainway. Mainway is a data center through the NSA that has billions of logged calls from Americans. And Russell Tice says there's metadata and content. They got the recorded conversations of billions of people in there. And there's emails. There's other things. And there's probably thoughts and other things, collection. I mean, they don't disclose everything that's in there. But in SA Mainway, the article talks about how Verizon and T-Mobile, they're denying that they are warrantlessly spying on us. But the article covers how they were warrantlessly spying on us. The NSA whistleblower Russell Tice exposed this in 2005 and 2006. And they're lying and they're doing this and they're lying now today because Obama and Bush t told them to lie and I guess there's something in the law that says if the president or na and national security is at risk they can lie and deny that they're doing these things and that's why Obama's lying when he tells us that they're not surveying you know they're not spying on Americans he just said that on Jay Leno in August 2013 and Colbert report made a statement about that and he said, you know, that they're lying. And, you know, basically Colbert made fun of it. And he did a really good job of it. You can watch that video. It's right down on my website. Inside the Russell Tice uh, document. Uh, the HTML file about remote neural monitoring. Watch that video. So, yeah. We're basically the president saying that he wanted to do, make a task force to come in and investigate everything. And find out about the surveillance stuff. The president's lying sack of shit. He was going to have someone come in and investigate this from the outside, but they were going to be somebody who would not find the real systems in place, and they were not going to have access to everything that they were supposed to have access to, and they were going to censor it and just make, you know, it was just so the president could come in and say, hey, ready to find anything, you know? You know, was, but they didn't disclose everything. The president knows. The president's in charge of these these systems he, he knows President Obama how does he fucking run the country and how does all his intelligence agencies work doesn't he have access he knows every fucking thing and there's nothing that's kept from him because his generals his directors of each agency the NSA FBI CIA DOD Department of Defense military they all go and report directly to him on what they're doing 
and they go to him to get authorization for all these systems. And these are all hidden away in black ops programs and special access programs and classification. And by the way, the classification, uh, it's, it's illegal. Obama's own rule, if you go and look at an executive order on classification, it says classification is not valid if you're, you know, it can't be used to conceal or hide illegal activity or crime. So we need to note, you know, it's not even classified, but they're using classification, they're hiding it anyway. So they've used it to hurt, rape, and maim me every day. I'm being hurt right now. They're pressing into my brain with this radiation. They're deliberately trying to make me mentally ill and sick, and they're hurting my body, sexually abusing me, penetrating me with radiation, heat, cold, hurting my body. Okay? And this is Obama doing this to me. This is the CIA, the NSA, these fuckers all together. And they do this to anybody to hide this crap. And they've actually experimented on people before. Look at the Washington Post article, Mind Games. Some of those people are real. Some of these people were really targeted. Look at Mor the Morali Torgman lawsuit or whatever. Synthetic telepathy ills from 2010. I'm telling you, that woman, she might, she might be, been a real target. And she tried to get help and they were just going to kill her. And they were never going to admit to doing this. I don't think her lawsuit worked though. And that's what they're, gonna, they're doing to me now. They hope that I die and everyone's involved. They, th that's what the purpose of this technology is. To secretly hurt a person until their death. And they're amazed that I didn't even die yet. So they've hurt me so bad. I got squeezing brain. They're making my muscles squeeze and clench down. They're doing things to me. And... Alright. Obamasweapon.com Tempest. NSA Remote Neural Monitoring. They've got the capability to monitor everything. And think about this. They can see inside your house. If there's electromagnetic energy from your brain or your body or the electrical wires, it's reflecting off of object in your house. It's giving them a full image of what's going on inside of your house. Everything. You, too. What your eyes see, they can see the each little photoreceptive little neuron in your eye. I don't know what they call those, but the receptors in your eye are neurons. They can see those signals, too. So they can get a full picture. And the visual cortex, it's a neural network of all these signals from your eye and your memory and other places coming together. They can get that signal too. And every memory is like that. Audio cortex. It, it's separate. Billions of signals coming together. Neurons that can be remotely monitored to get these signals. And it all comes back. It comes. It's organized in the brain in the cortexes. And that's how they get access to it. Your sensations everything are like that and it's very complex you know lots of signals in in your ear many sensors you know little receptors and feeling pressure and movements and everything your eyes everything's like that so they can see that all and piece it all back together that's how the system works it pieces these different signals back together and there's some called evoked potentials it's just the neurons when they when they fire and light up and go they turn off and on the signals back and forth and shit and I think the electromagnetic field by the neurons, created by the neurons, is designed to move the neurotransmitters around too. Because that's how, that's the only way the neurotransmitters can move between cells, is with electromagnetic energy. And so, you know, it's all, that's all the way it works. And if they can read that signal, then they got access to everything in your brain, your body, everyone else's. You're a recording device, you're the ultimate intelligence storage device to them. And that's why they're using this. They don't play games. Oh, and microwave directed energy weapons, man. Manipulate air particles, your brain. They can remotely stimulate your brain. Override and change the signals in your brain. And that's how they get you to see things. They will be jamming a part of like your visual cortex to make you see things and hear things and feeling things. And they'll be beaming sensation they'll be moving your tissue around with photons in little microwaves tingling moving your tissue around forcing you to ejaculate by stimulating your balls and your your dick making it feel like a woman is there and the heat of another person is there touching you and you got you're feeling her emotions and you're seeing her and she's doing this crap to you this computer is designed to do this it's a rape weapon with rape software there's all sorts of gay crap that they have to torture people on there. And 
the software, it records everything. There's a computer out there. You can get, if we got a judge that sees this who wasn't corrupt, we would have that as evidence. It's a weapon that they have with logs of people, people's thoughts and software that was designed to do this on there. So, this weapon could do things to your environment, your body, and your brain. It can affect, they, oh, let me tell you how, one more punk piece. They can remotely image the air particles and record sounds more complex than ever before. This isn't just microphones. This is recording the actual movement of particles. And when they do this, they can record the trajectory and the complexity of a waveform and the movement of waves more complex than you've ever seen. And they can recreate this by putting pressure microwaves like right here they can create a field of microwaves they can recreate some of the sound they can they can change sound waves before they get to a, a location they can uh, make sound where there's no sound uh, they can heat objects and do things and fuck oh they can also use this energy on computers I've seen them do this to my uh, my cell phone screen actually it's been recently used on my Nintendo DS they can actually change and stimulate the pixels and turn them on and off. And that is that is pretty crazy. Now this is all based in science, so think about it. Uh, there's 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 ion generators and you know there's electron generators and there's microwaves and shit. But there's been some incidents happen. For example, you can power devices with no battery or power source. Uh, when there's an ion storm from the sun, people have had their radios turn on in an ion storm. Like literally, with no battery and no power. They walked around and used it wirelessly. That was, th there's actually some stuff. You should look up the Tesla stuff and there's been a couple of big ion storms in the last hundred years and they were making, it's documented in history somewhere. I just don't know the names of the researchers and people that reported it happening. Like, basically, they can activate anything remotely and energize it and do stuff to it, including neurons and computer devices and other shit. Wireless power transfer. All ties into one thing, okay? I'm wasted, I'm almost brain dead, and I might die. And they're, they're gonna keep hurting me. And I hope this someone figures this out, because I think everyone's stupid. Because they haven't figured it out. ACLU's fucking stupid. They've been sitting on their ass for 50 years. Programs being exposed. MK Ultra was a mind control program of the CIA in the 50s and 60s and 70s. They knew what was going on. Cointel Pro from the 50s. The FBI fucking with people, killing people, drugging them, spying on them illegally. It's been going on for years and years, and everyone just keeps forgetting. MK Ultra was a mind control program where they developed drugs and toxins and neuro devices. Including a device that could flood the brain with a chemical that shut down nerve activity and they could read the brain with EEG. They invented all this during MK Ultra in the 70s and they just kept on doing research and it just got more and more secret after that and now we've got a... It never really stopped. Okay? This never really stopped. And the ACLU, I just find it so surprising that these fuckers have never filed a lawsuit, never done anything to research this crap and they just they take everything the administration and the, the people the intelligence committee says like there's nothing else out there they're just fucking stupid they haven't figured it out but there's so much data out there about it mindjustice.org has been out there for 10 years 20 years maybe 15 years I don't know when it first got it used to be called something else so I know it's been around years and that's a website that documents these human rights violations it's been around she's a listed with the United Nations Cheryl Wells, who runs that website, is a United Nations recognized non-lethal weapons expert and electromagnetic weapons mind control expert. And all this information is out there. There's doctors, years, neurologists who've been talking about this, bio neurologists and uh, people on mind justice. Dr. C Carol Smith, who in 2007 tried to get the diagnosis, diagnostic criteria for psychosis change because police have this. They're using it. And the diagnosis, the information out there doctors have doesn't talk about it. So no, everyone gets misdiagnosed on purpose. It's like deliberate. Then the machine, the, the Psychiatric Association, American Psychiatric Association, 
They used to work with the CIA. Back in the 70s, the head of the fucking American Psychiatric Association was helping the CIA develop mind control drugs and mind wiping repattering techniques using uh, shock therapy to erase people's minds and make them new people. Basically to commit, you know, they wanted to be able to take people's memory away and make a rogue agent and someone who could be, you know, brainwashed. And they've always been doing this, okay? So now, today, the fact that nobody's doing anything about this, our doctors aren't smarter, there's no information public, it's because the, the heads of these organizations are helping the CIA and the government do this. They're censoring everything. They're, they're not letting you know the dangers of the police and the government having access to this technology. That's why there's no information out there to help doctors. There is, it's out there, but I'm saying that there's a reason why everything is... Everything is hidden. And what information is out there is ignored and treated like it's loony shit when it's all it's all real. It's fucking crazy. And the ACLU, I, I really wonder if they've been protecting the U.S. government all these fucking years. Because they would have been on top of this. The information is out there and they've never done a single fucking thing. And they're not even... They don't even act like they're... They don't have any program that's tracking any of this mind control or electromagnetic imaging spy stuff. It's like they're fucking stupid.